100% video play rate. And what this metric is, is it isn't just like a volume, like how many people have actually watched 100%. I'm treating any viewer of my video is basically a cohort. So that means if 100% of people start a video of mine or anyone who starts a video is, is 100%, what percentage of those actually make it to the end of that video? It lets me know, have I done a good job of telling that story? That's enticing enough. And why this report comes so helpful, especially when we're thinking about low hanging fruit, is I'm actually looking for any instance where I'm seeing a higher, uh, a super high in some instances, 100% video play rate, but a lower click through rate in comparison to the grand scheme of things. And what a relationship like this tells me is, is it's actually telling me that a lot of people are really enjoying the video content that I put together. They're watching the whole thing. They're just not clicking. So when I see a relationship like this, it's the perfect opportunity to actually say, okay, Let's examine this video right at the end of this. When I get so many people making it to the end, what's my call to action? Because what I might notice is I'm missing one in the grand scheme of things. So where the, the creative changes we can start to lean into here is we can start placing CTAs at the end of our video. We might actually move CTAs up earlier while we still have more viewership and eyeballs, or we might start adjusting the length of our videos to play around with it. 